Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm gonna do a review on these new shoes that I got, um, the Addy Powers. They were on sale if you guys didn't know or wanted to buy them. They retail for 200 and they went on sale for $80. And even though I told myself I wasn't gonna buy them Black Friday, I still did. All right, first off, uh, let me just talk about the aesthetics of the shoe. Um, there are two colors. There's the white and silver one and the, this one, the black and red one. I personally really wanted the white and silver one just because it was white, but that one was not for sale, unfortunately. Um, only this one was. But to start off talking about the little pieces um, on the shoe, lacing system it doesn't really do much. Um, as tight as I tie it, it doesn't really feel, um, doesn't feel snug. So that's why um, I think they gave you this strap. Um, you can just loop it through this hole right here and just put it over. And honestly, I feel like this strap gives a lot better um, secure feeling than the shoelaces itself, which is you know perfectly fine, especially um, if you tie really tight at the top here, I feel like it pinches your ankle. Um, I've asked my friends and they haven't had issues, but for me, it's just been a big issue. So I've been trying to break these in. Uh, on the back and the bottom here, we have kind of like a plastic, um, what they call a torsion system to kind of keep um, your foot planted and so it doesn't turn. At first, I didn't really believe this because it's just it just feels really, you know, like cheap plastic kind of thing. But when I wore them and I, you know, just stepped down on the ground for like um, a squat that I was doing that day, I felt really, really planted secure. Uh, I felt like I couldn't move my feet when I had them planted, which is a really good thing because um, I used to squat in my Converse and th even though those are great squat shoes and great deadlift shoes, um, just because they're flat, just like this, um, this provided a, a bigger base, I guess you could say, and I felt more secure and more planted to the ground. Next, I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask, you know, should I buy these um, weightlifting shoes? Because even though these shoes are for weightlifting, um, a lot of bodybuilders and powerlifters have adopted these and for very good reasons. First off, they just look great. Um, everyone knows you're about to lift kind of thing. And um, I would say they definitely help. Like I mentioned in my last point, they are very, very stable. Even though the um, sole at the bottom looks very quite I would say thin, you know, like um, compared to with like a regular shoe. Well, to me anyways, you instantly feel kind of like there's something at the bottom of the shoe, like the, the torsion system and the sole itself kind of um, providing stability for yourself. I think just alone the stability um, is a good enough reason to buy these shoes, especially if you got it for $80 like me. Another point I like to make is that this shoe has a elevated heel um, and they put this elevated heel in because it helps with ankle mobility um, and it helps with kind of leaning making your body lean forward slightly um, to me anyways because when I'm performing the squat um, sometimes I get butt wink because I sit back too far or um, my ankle mobility is just not great and these really help me especially as a bodybuilder um, they help you involve your quads more, which is what I'm trying to do. I'm not just trying to lift, I'm trying to build muscle. Um, so these definitely help you lean forward a little. And that's why I'm not afraid to sit back with these. Um, I, I won't feel like I'm gonna fall, especially like I said, with the base. Um, you feel very, very stable. That's another great point to bring up. But I know a lot of people will not uh, deadlift with these. A lot of people will deadlift with um, flat shoes like Converse that are not elevated simply because of the fact that um, when you're deadlifting with these, you're already kind of hunched forward and you're leaning forward already in a way that you don't want to be abusing your lower back too much. And personally, I've seen a lot of people use these for deadlifts, so I really think it depends on the person. I tried it myself. Um, I definitely feel a lot stronger coming off the ground with these. Um, I do sumo deadlifts for those who are wondering. Um, and sumo deadlifts usually come up a lot slower, but with these I feel a lot stronger coming from the bottom Even though I am leaning forward a little more. I think you learn to adjust from it at first I was gonna downsize in these and get a um, Size 7 because I'm usually size 8 or maybe size like half a size down because I know that um, I do have narrow feet And I do want these to be really really tight um, and even though I wear a size 8 in Nikes and um, and in Adidas and they fit perfectly 
Um, I wanted these shoes to be really tight, but I'm very glad I didn't. Um, asking my friends for their opinions, they said stick to, to your true size, and I did. Um, and I think if I did downsize, it would be way too tight, and I would have so many like um, four foot problems. All in all, I would rate these a nine out of ten, just because of how stable and how secure and how good you feel when you squat, you feel more confident and that's the whole point of these shoes. And the only reason I would not give these a 10 out of 10 is just because of the fact that I thought I would be squatting like 500 like the next day kind of thing, you know? Like, oh my squat's gonna go up like 50 pounds kind of thing. Because everybody I see working out with these are deadlifting, squatting super heavy and I'm like, Damn, yo, these work. Overall, I'm very satisfied with these shoes. Um, I am very, very happy that I bought them and I do not regret buying them. But these are such a great shoe that I would recommend everyone to buy these um, just because of the fact that I know a lot of people um, like me have problems with ankle mobility. These will correct it 100%. You don't have to like experiment them. The first day I tried them on, they worked. Especially with the price point, you just can't go wrong. $80, guys. Come on, where else are you gonna find a shoe that's $80 and gonna benefit you this much? That is it for this review. I hope you liked what you liked. If you guys want more of these videos, want more kind of reviews on supplements or shoes or anything related to fitness, you guys know what to do. Like the damn video, comment down below, share with your friends, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Don't bring me back